Are you struggling to get your first pull up? Maybe you're new at the gym and you want, you see all these people doing pull ups and it looks so cool and you pop up there and you're like, I could do it. And you're almost, you just can't do it. It's okay. I was there too. We all have been there. So today, what I have for you is a progression to doing your for first pull up. So it's going to be different exercises to get you stronger so that you will be able to get that chin above that bar. Boom, ah, pull ups. All right, progression one. So let's say you get a workout and the first thing it's on there says pull-ups and you can't do a pull-up yet. Well, your option to get you stronger, we are going to be doing an inverted row. Um, so I'm just doing it in between a bar um, or in between a squat rack with a bar on it. So you're gonna be using this. Now, the only thing is, so obviously a pull-up is a vertical who's texting me so a pull up is a vertical pull so an inverted row is a horizontal pull so you're working the same muscles but this will just help you to get stronger it's going to be working your lats it's going to be working your back until we can finally get up on that bar and start doing some more pull up vertical pulls the higher the bar is so if i put the bar up here the easier it gets. The lower the bar is, the harder it gets so that your body is basically horizontal with the ground or parallel. Horizontal, parallel? Parallel. Parallel. <laughs> well, I'm laying horizontal, but I'm parallel with the ground. That's where, that's where I wanted to be. You're gonna get down here under the bar and then you're just gonna have your legs straight out. So instead of pulling vertical, you're just pu pulling horizontal. Using very similar muscles, this is just gonna be working more of that, that mid back and lats, and you're just pulling your chest to the bar. Once you're able to do three sets, eight to 10 reps of this, then you would be able to move on. So start off high, work your way down until you're about horizontal. Get about three sets, eight to 10. Once you've mastered that, then we move to the next progression. All right, next progression is called a dead hang. You're literally just gonna be hanging there, but I'm putting this next because we are gonna be starting to work on grip strength. So you might've done this back like in like elementary school, <laughs> like remember the flex hang and the dead arm hang? And you could see how long you could hang up on the bar. That's literally all we're gonna do, except I don't want you like completely dead. Uh, we're going to be contracting just our scapulas. So your scapulas are right here and that is what is going to start your pull up movement. So instead of having your arms, like your shoulders up here, we're gonna contract our shoulder blades down. So this is like a dead, dead hang. Do you see where my shoulders are? They're up by my ears. And this is like dead, 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 dead hang. However, I don't want it completely dead hang. We, I want you to contract down, which I feel is actually a little bit easier because it takes a little bit off of your grip because right there, that's just all grip. So you're gonna pull, uh, jump up on your bar. So here's me completely dead. And then I want you to pull down. So you want your, your shoulders away from your ears. And by doing that, you're just pulling your scapulas down. So this is something, maybe you don't have to do it every single day, but maybe you start every other workout with a dead arm hang. 
get your grip strength up, do three sets, max out on your seconds. So time yourself for the, your first, first set, and then your second set, try to beat that. And then your third set, try to beat that. And then once you have worked your way up to holding a dead arm hang for 30 seconds, I think you may now move to the next progression. My next progression on my list would then be to go to an assisted pull-up. Now, if your gym has an assisted pull-up machine, you could use that. Um, or just very, very simple is most gyms are going to have a variety of band sizes. So obviously this one is going to be the easiest. This is going to take the most amount of weight off of you. Then you would, could move down to this and then this and then this, and then you should be able to take it off and then we'll get to the next progression after that. So basically start with your, your big wand. You're just going to loop it around and then you pull it through the middle. You can put one or two legs in this. So I generally just put one leg and the best part about this is it's going to, you're going to get the movement of the pull up. The only problem is it's going to give you the most help at the hardest part, which fortunately that's where you want to work the most. Uh, but at least you'll start getting the whole movement, vertical pulling movement. So what that will be look like, you're just going to put your one foot in and then I didn't really go over anything about hands. Uh, generally I go on the outside of my shoulders, a nice wide grip pull up. And then you're just going to hop down and then you can either cross or put your one foot on top of the other so that the band doesn't slip. This should be nice and easy. <laughs> oh man, I could do these all day. <laughs> Scaps are come down and then I pull up. Instead of just pulling with your arms. Start doing this three, at least three times a week. And once you start getting like three sets, eight to 10 good reps, then you'll graduate from this giant band and then you just work down in size. So then you would get this next band still taking uh, weight off of you, but you'll be working a little bit more. You do that three sets, eight to 10 good, graduate to the next band. And then you work your way down in skinniness. Once you get to the smallest band that your gym has, we'll then go to the next progression. All right, next, now that you have graduated and you are now getting rid of your bands, it's time to use our own body weight and we are going to be doing eccentric pull-ups. So eccentric, means negative. So we're so, because we're not quite ready to do a pull up to a negative, we're gonna be doing jumping eccentric pull ups. Uh, but before we do that, there is one thing that I want you guys to work on, which is going to help all of your pull ups. Because most people, when they get up on the bar, they don't know what to do with their uh, legs. Like, do I put them behind me? Do I like cross them? And what I want you to be doing is actually a hollow body. So we're gonna practice that before we get to the negatives because when you're doing a pull up, you wanna keep your entire body nice and stiff. The more movement you have in your legs, it's gonna make the pull up a lot harder. So basically what a hollow body is, hands are gonna be up above your head your feet come off the ground, your upper body comes off the ground. The only thing on the ground is your butt and your lower back. And this is what the movement is gonna look like from a pull up. So you just keep your body nice and still. So this is gonna bring in that core, tighten up that core so that you're not moving all over the place 
and it makes the exercise a little bit easier. So for your jumping negative, I just get like a bench, put it to maybe the side of it. You just need like one foot basically. Because we can't do our pull up yet, you're gonna be allowed to jump up, get your head above the bar, and then you're gonna lower yourself super duper slow until you get to the bottom. And then we're gonna jump back up. The goal here is to try to get like a five second. If you can only do two seconds or three seconds, great. So for each rep, you need to do those two to three seconds on the way down until you work your way up to five seconds, maybe to 10 seconds. What that will look like, so we're jumping up and then slow, 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 all the way down. So for our jumping eccentric or negative pull-ups, I think something around like a, if you're doing three to five second lowers, pick something like three, three sets, five to eight reps, and each one of those will have a three second lower, three to five second lower. But stay kind of consistent. If you pick like, okay, I can do five seconds, try to do that with every rep. So once you get your three sets of five to eight rep of negative reps, then we move to the next one. All right, now that we have mastered our jumping negatives, we're now gonna take it up a notch and we are doing a flexed hang. That means you are above the bar and you're all the way up and you start going and your arms are going to start shaking. And the goal here for you, your goal is to try to get 20 second hang. So again, because we're not quite ready to pull up, you can jump up, get your, get your chin above the bar and you're just holding it there again. These are isometric contractions. So even though you're not going down and up, down and up, down and up, you're still contracting that muscle. You're completely contracted. And this is the one where like, I want you to push yourself. Don't stop just because you start to shake. I'm gonna probably start shaking at like 10 seconds in. Uh, but once you start shaking, that's good. I want you to push past those shakes and hold it as long as you possibly can. Get your arms where they normally would be for your pull up, which for me is slightly wider. You're gonna jump up and then stay there. Focus on that hollow body. This is gonna come really into play here because if your legs are back behind you or they're and you're like wiggling, it's gonna make it a lot harder. So grab the bar, you're gonna jump up and we're gonna hold. So just take note of body position. See, I'm already shaking. Oh my God. Ugh. But that, is, that isometric hold is still gonna be building and breaking down muscle fibers. And you're still gonna be getting that time under tension, which will be making you stronger to get you to that end all goal of doing your first pull up. Are you ready for the next progression? All right, we are getting close to doing a full pull up. So now we're gonna break the pull up up. So we're gonna start with bottom partials and we're gonna do three sets, five to eight reps of bottom. We're li literally gonna break the full pull up in half so for our bottom half we're going to be from the bottom and then we're basically just pulling up halfway so your chin's not going above the bar basically the bar is probably going to be right about where your forehead is and we're just going to be working that bottom little range so here focus on your core focus on that hollow body and focus on that scap pull up so you're pulling down with your scaps and then drive your elbows down it's all in the lat so here we don't need our bench we're just going to jump up 
and then starting from the bottom you're just pulling up to about your forehead conquer that and again do this a couple times a week three times a week start your workout off with this even if it's chest day back day leg day whatever shoulder day you can start with pull-ups it's a great exercise so three sets five to eight reps and then we'll move to the very last i get second to last progression <laughs> so the other part of the partials will be the top so now we're going to start above the bar so you can jump up you can use your bench jump up get above the bar and then you're going to come down halfway so you're not straightening your arms your arms will stay bent and then you pull all the way up so what that will look like <sighs> getting myself all tired before i even have to do full pull-ups start above come down half i can't talk as i do this <laughs> so even though you're only doing part of the movement you're still working all those same muscles so once you have mastered both the bottom and the top guess what happens next you're now going to try your very first full pull up It all comes down to now, your very first pull up. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is what we've all been working for these last couple progressions. So again, key things here, jump up, engage your lats. So pull those scapulas down. Your shoulders should not be up by your ears. Engage those scapulas and pull them down. The rest of your body should be nice and tight core tight legs are tight squeeze your butt you're gonna squeeze everything in your body and then focus on just pulling with your lats instead of pulling with your arms your back is going to be way stronger especially if you've been working on like barbell rows and dumbbell rows and lat pull downs we've been doing all these other various exercises so your lats are strong enough to be able to do this it's making sure that we keep the rest of our body nice and tight. All right, here we go. Numero countdown to doing a pull up. Hump, core tight, engage those lats and pull up. Notice my feet come actually out in front of me when I pull up that's gonna help get that because when they're like back behind you you're gonna feel it a little bit more in your shoulders so hopefully you go through if you've been struggling with pull-ups for a while try using some of these stepping stones and you don't have to go directly in this order just try some of these little stepping stones to get you to getting up and doing your first unassisted pull up of your life. Then what you need to do is once you get one, you're gonna do a couple sets of that. And I want you to do that several times a week. So every week I want you trying to add another rep. And that's what I did. When I wanted to get more pull ups, I started every single workout with doing pull ups regardless if it was leg day. Oh, it's leg day? Cool, I'm starting with pull-ups because it was a goal of mine. And when it's a goal and you wanna get better at something, you have to do it more. So maybe every other day, throw pull-ups in at the beginning of your workout, three to four sets, go to failure. Do as many as you can. So get up there and do it. And the more times you do it a week, they're gonna go up. So practice your form. Practice those progressions, and I know in a couple weeks, you'll get there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this is helpful, and I hope no one ever, ever falls off a cliff and has to actually pull them off self up. But if 
you do this, I have faith that you will get up and survive.